Hey, I'm Tom Whittick. Oh, hang on a second. <laughs> I'm Luke Stedman, and you're watching Shroud. Pew! <laughs> then there's the crowd, you know, that's just right there. You literally can see the expression on a person's face when they get your wave. And... It's amazing. That's the, kind of the best part of when you come out of a, good, a big barrel here. Sometimes you're sitting in a barrel and you look out and you can just see all the boats. But out here, it's just like you get spat out and, you know, and even run into the crowd sometimes. The, crowd, the crowd's intense. It's like a... It's like the only spot, it's like kind of like a stadium, surfing stadium. It's everything's right there, it's that close, and you, know, you can come out and run people over. <laughs> there you have it. Welcome to the arena, and welcome to the Billabong Pro Te Hupo 2006. It was an event full of surprises. Many of the top dogs were eliminated in the early stages of the event, such as Mick Fanning for example, who lost out to Tahitian Heari Williams, who qualified for the main event by taking out the Von Zipper Trials. Another big name who went down to a local wildcard was Joel Parkinson, who lost out to local favorite Hira Terranatufa. Ayari's run ended in round 3 though, where he came up against the 7 times world champ Kelly Slater. Slater surfed confident as always, and even though Ayari caught a few bombs, it wasn't enough. One of the most exciting heats to watch in the 4th round, and the highest scoring heat of the event, was heat 1 between Damien Hopgood and Fred Patacia. The two battled it out until the end, but Damien's 18.6 couldn't match Fred's highest scores of 9.7 and 9.9 .9 for a total of 19.6. In Heat 5 of Round 4 came maybe the biggest surprise when Dean Morrison took out three times world champ Andy Irons for the second year in a row. Another great exchange came in Heat 8 of Round 4 where Bobby Martinez and CJ Hopgood went head to head. It was the second highest heat total with 19 points for Bobby and 18 for CJ. The last Tahitian standing, Hira Terinatufa was eliminated by Fred Patacia. It was nonetheless a great contest and a great result for the former ISA world champ from Tahiti. And then it happened. On a seemingly small way for Teupo, Slater's hopes of defending his title were shattered when he injured his ribs after this floater. The final was a very slow affair at the beginning. When the waves finally turned on though, it seemed that rookie Bobby Martinez caught the better waves of the sets. Bobby set the pace with an 8.17, which was matched by Freddy a few minutes later. Bobby's second highest score was an 8.10, which left Freddy looking for exactly that score. Just a few seconds from the hooter, Freddy took off on this wave, got barreled, did a massive carving top turn and even launched an air, but was only rewarded 7.9. So say hi to your new Billabong Pro Te Hupo champ Bobby Martinez from California. Going into Fiji, Kelly Slater is first, Bobby now second, Taylor Knox third, Andy Irons fourth, and Taj Boro fifth. Hi, my name's Sean Cansdell. I'm gonna take you through the alley of done and just explain how I did it. Yeah. First step, just getting plenty of speed. You want a pretty steep section so you can launch high. Once you're in the air, concentrate on, you've got to land backwards. You've just got to spin the board around once you've landed backwards. Just getting plenty of speed, seeing the section down the line and you want a pretty steep section so you can launch high. Once you're in the air, it's good to uh, rotate your top half of your body and um, the board usually follows. Once you landed on the lip backwards, you've got to 
Center most of your weight over your front foot, just so you don't know. I'll tail dive and then just try and spin around. <laughs> this episode's DVD preview comes from no other than Poor Specimen Productions. After driving through the US, Japan, South America, Europe, and Oz, it is now time to look at South Africa. Lacquer Brew. DVD is in stores now and is available through Extreme Video. Well, that's it for this episode of Shrop Surf. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in two weeks' time. And in case you didn't know yet, we also do a snowboarding podcast, which you can check out on shrop.com or download through iTunes.